Welcome back. Now that we understand what a JavaScript runtime is, it's time to circle back to the three-part definition of what is Node.js. We already know Node.js is open source and its source code is publicly available for sharing and modification. We also know that Node.js is cross-platform and works on Mac, Windows, and Linux. And with our newfound knowledge from the previous video, we can now understand Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment which provides all the necessary components in order to use and run a JavaScript program. And a very important point to note is that Node.js can run a JavaScript program outside the browser. Hopefully, you now have a good understanding of what is Node.js. The next question that I would like to answer is, what can you build with Node.js? Well, up until 2009, which is the year Node.js was introduced, JavaScript could only be run inside a browser. With Node.js, however, JavaScript code can be run outside a browser, which opens a new world of possibilities. You can build traditional websites, backend services like APIs, real-time applications, streaming services like Netflix, command line interface tools, multiplayer games, and a lot more. The bottom line is Node.js allows you to build complex and powerful applications. All right, if you're now clear as to what is Node.js and for what purpose it can be used, let's spend a few minutes to go over its source code and form a visual representation of the Node.js runtime. It is open source after all. I'm here at github.com slash node.js slash node. This repo contains the source code for the Node.js JavaScript runtime. Here, I want to briefly talk about three specific folders. The first folder is the depths or dependencies folder. This folder contains external code that Node.js requires for its functioning. There are quite a few dependencies here, so let me highlight two very important ones. First, we have V8, which is the same JavaScript engine present in the Chrome browser. Without V8, there is no way for Node.js to understand the JavaScript code we write. The other dependency is UV, which is an open source library called libuv. This is another major dependency providing Node.js access to the underlying operating system features such as file system and networking. We will learn more about libuv in a later section. But that is about the dependencies folder, which we can treat as one component in the Node.js runtime with subcomponents like V8, libuv, etc. The second folder is the source folder, which contains the C++ source code of the Node.js runtime. Now you should keep in mind, JavaScript as a language was not designed to deal with low-level functionality like file system or networking. C++, on the other hand, was designed to do that. So this source folder is a set of C++ features that Node.js brings to the table. Features such as file system handling and networking. This forms the second component in our Node.js runtime. The third and final folder is the lib folder. A few seconds ago, I mentioned that Node.js adds new features to JavaScript through C++ code. Now that begs the question, how does a JavaScript developer get access to these C++ features? Should they know C++? Well, the answer is in the lib folder. The lib folder contains JavaScript code that's been written for you to easily get access to the C++ features. For example, fs.js contains JavaScript code that we can write to access the file system. The code internally calls the corresponding C++ feature 
which further relies on libuv to access the operating system. In fact, the lib folder also contains a few utility functions that you may need when writing code with Node.js. This standard library of JavaScript code forms the final component in our visualization of the Node.js runtime. Hopefully, you're now able to see that Node.js is not a big black box that we can't figure out. It is just code written in C++ and JavaScript. One important point you do have to note though is that Node.js runtime, unlike the browser runtime, does not have access to the web APIs. There is no window or document when working with Node.js. So to summarize, Node.js is an open source cross-platform JavaScript runtime environment. It is not a language, it is not a framework. It is a runtime and is capable of executing JavaScript code outside a browser. It can execute not only the standard ECMAScript language, but also new features that are made available through C++ bindings using the V8 engine. From a code point of view, it consists of C++ files which form the core features and JavaScript files which expose common utilities and some of the C++ features for easier consumption. Now I understand if you are a little frustrated at this point, we have completed five videos and not written a single line of code. But hopefully I've created a visual representation and a code representation of Node.js that you should not be able to forget. Anyway, in the next video, let's ease any frustration you may have by finally writing our customary Hello World program with Node.js. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.